What's up? This is Darren DeWitt Henson. And I'm Tari Henson. And you are watching and listening to the In, In the, the Groove, Groove podcast. podcast. Okay, now today is a special one today because we're going live on Instagram. So you guys are actually seeing the show live right now on the In the Groove podcast. Um, and we're actually taping it as well. Okay, but today's podcast is really about entertainment, the spoils of entertainment, and some of the pitfalls of entertainment. Right now, we're dealing with what's going on with Chris Brown, which to me is an atrocity. Yes. Uh, he just, he, his intention to do something so positive and beautiful, I think, was just completely snuffed out. We're talking about the 40th anniversary of Michael Jackson's thriller right now. And Chris Brown was supposed to perform on the American Music Awards. And as a former choreographer, I know what that feels like. I mean, when I was nominated and the night that it was going to be given the, you know, the, the MTV Music Award, MTV asked me not to go on stage and accept it with sync. This is a fact. Um, and they actually stood somebody next to me. They had me. a security guard try and stop you. Yeah, so I wouldn't go on the stage, but I, I went anyway, right? But why is Chris Brown asked not to show up and not perform? Him, Ciara, they were preparing for what I consider to be the best performance of 2022. So I have no idea what that was about. His performance was going to be incredible. Theirs in tandem was going to be amazing. And then it was the 40th anniversary of Thriller. Of one of the biggest albums Michael Jackson ever had. I mean, we're talking about something. You know, it's been in the news lately. People were talking about, you know, would, would Chris Brown be the next Michael Jackson? I don't think that Chris Brown is trying to be Michael Jackson, I think Chris Brown wants to be the best Chris Brown he can be. It's undeniable the type of performer he is, the caliber performer. But to me, and I and, and I don't know if this is rumor, they're talking about some of the stuff that happened with him in the past. Why does that matter? There are people who have come back in the sports casting world who have mm -hmm. done things that were atrocities that were allowed their jobs back, and people didn't talk about that anymore. Yeah. There are sports players who have done things that are... I Manslaughter. Mean, they've killed people, and they've know, come back. And, and I just can't understand why such a phenomenal, phenomenal entertainer like Chris Brown not be allowed to perform on the American Music Awards. And as a choreographer who created yeah. works for NSYNC American Music Awards... I remember when Dick Clark was alive, rest in peace, Dick Clark, he asked that we um, put together something for um, the American Music Awards. And J-Lo, I did Love Don't Cost a Thing and choreographed that for the American Music Awards. So I know what it means to choreograph for the American Music Awards yeah, and to, seen on that to platform. open and be on that platform. And one of the reasons why I wanted to go live on the In The Groove podcast today is because... I wanted to take some of your questions and answer them live. Like, we have not done this before. No, this is this is something that I'm really excited about. I get so many DMs and questions, comments. People want to talk about stuff. Stuff resonated with people. They have questions. So I think this is a perfect opportunity. If you have any questions, if you have any comments, uh, we want to know your opinion. We want to know what you guys think. Um, so ask away. Shoot. You know, so, I mean, look. What happened in the past happened in the past. Everybody got past it. The other person that was involved in it is a billionaire. She's not talking about that before. So, again, I don't know if the rumors are true, but some of the gossip is talking about some of the stuff from the past. And I want to say this loud and proud. As a dancer who performed and worked with Michael Jackson... Hear me. He was acquitted. So all the stuff that you guys are talking about or coming up with, he was acquitted. You can't say his name and that other bad name in the same sentence. Stop. 
it doesn't apply to Michael Jackson. Hello, he was acquitted. It went to trial. He was acquitted. He beat it. It was acquitted, no pun intended. So let's stop trying to use that as a means of disgracing his name. Let's stop trying to use Chris Brown's past as a means of disgracing his name. He keeps putting out incredible work. Shout out to Chris Brown, my May 5th twin. We're both born on May 5th. He loves the color green, like me. He's a performer. He's a dancer. I'm sure if he wanted to be a choreographer, he could. He's an actor. He's an entertainer. He's a musical genius. He's an artist. I mean, what doesn't he do? Why, why are people pressing the pause on Chris Brown? It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. So basically what we've been hearing is that um, Chris Brown initially was canceled from doing the show. And they were saying at first that they didn't give him any reason. Now we're hearing it's because of his past um, situations with Rihanna and even even bringing up Michael Jackson's past, which I agree with you, doesn't make any kind of sense. None. These are just allegations, things that people hold on to. He, he was acquitted. None of this stuff even, even should matter. What should matter is the incredible legacy that this man left and, and people, artists, who looked up to him wanting to pay um, homage to him. You know what I think? What's that? I think that Chris Brown should develop his own show. I think this is a perfect opportunity for a network, anybody, feel free, anybody, yeah. a network to, to actually come in and say, Chris Brown, we want to televise a show surrounding you, Ciara, and all of those people who are amazing performers um, and actually do what you intended to do. And you know what? Let's invite some more special guests. Let's that would invite, be dope. Let's invite Darren Dewey Henson. <laughs> <laughs> right? No, seriously. But I, I, I joke in that. But what I'm saying is today I posted specifically, I did a video. Um, I was so inspired by this. Many of you know this already. I was inspired by, by Chris Brown. Um, he did a, a song called Fine China, which is one of my favorite songs. And I did my own version of Fine China. And it's because I loved it so much, because I love Chris so much. And I was so inspired by it, I wanted to do my own version. And, you know, it, it's so amazing because I felt like such a disservice was done to Chris today that I wanted to honor Chris. So I think a network should give Chris an opportunity yeah. to showcase what he was preparing for the that world. That would be so dope if you had just a, a tribute show to Michael Jackson with all the artists that have prepared something. Because, you know, you did the tribute to Chris Brown because you were inspired. And I think that's art. That's that's what people do when, when they've learned so much from someone. They want to pay homage to it and really showcase their interpretation of this incredible um, person. Yeah, so um, I'm down for the... For the Chris Brown special, Sierra, I didn't know that she was initially um, barred from the show either. Yeah, they, they well, I, I don't know if she was barred from it, but she she sent or, or posted a video with them in rehearsal today, and it was phenomenal. Yeah. Like, I watched her doing the moonwalk. She was, I guess, doing Billie Jean. Oh, um, wow. And, and it was incredible. Like, I literally am excited about seeing them perform this because the footage that they put up, Chris Brown's rehearsal footage, Sierra's rehearsal footage was phenomenal. Did you guys see this? It's phenomenal. Tap in. Again, we're going live for the first time on Instagram, but we're also filming this for the actual podcast. But we're going to answer questions right now on the show. If you have anybody on your page, Tari, um, you know, let's let's answer these questions. Let's get it. I got to. Okay. I gotta switch up the glasses, y'all. You already know. <laughs> um, um, Flower Bloom says, "I love him so much. So do I." Um, let's go. Everyone gets in trouble, should be accountable. That's right. But I mean, come on, you guys. You're talking about stuff that happened years ago. I love Chris Brown. There's just so much love coming right here. Team Chris Brown. Chris Brown. Chris Brown. We love you. 
I want to see a duet between Darren Henson and Chris Brown. I, I would, would want to see, see that, that too. Well. <laughs> I would love to see that as well. We didn't get to dance together in Stomp the Yard. You guys know that clearly Chris was in Stomp the Yard, but we didn't get to work together on the actual film um, because of the storyline, the way Stomp the Yard was. But so I, I got one here. Um, at, at VD's mom says, they're trying to stop black people in more ways than one. Stay prayed up because... Um, they're trying, they're trying to stop people, people of color, basically, of um, performing and, and really um, showcasing our talents. Uh, that's an interesting point. I, I didn't think about that because I wonder who, who at the AMAs decided this. What was the, um, the chain of events that even triggered something like this? And the fact that you know you should be responsible for your actions. But if those actions were in the past and you've been forgiven, like how, how far back do we have to be held accountable for things that we've done? Babe, wh what do you, what do you feel about that? Like in, in that particular situation? I, I mean, I think that you just spoke to it, but in this particular situation, it doesn't seem to me like, like they're forgiving um, about what happened. I mean, you know, he, he did his time. He clearly did his time. Right. Yeah. Um, so it, it's he crazy because community service. he did and he, he's done the apologies. It's like, you know, when Kevin Hart got in trouble for something that he tweeted 10 years ago, it's like, at what point do we say, Hey, people make mistakes. People are, you're allowed to make mistakes as a human being. It's okay. And we can forgive and, and move on. Um, I think that this is, I mean, to some degree, I think it is an attempt to stop um, an artist or a person, especially Chris Brown, very popular, obviously all the love coming in is for him, um, and Sierra. So I think it's more of an attempt to stop, um, him from doing something that he loves. I mean, do look you, at Kyrie you, Irving. He didn't even really do anything and they completely stopped him from doing what he it, loved. It's so interesting. Dave Chappelle said that, that Kanye, and I'm paraphrasing here that, you know, Kanye was in so much trouble that Kyrie got in trouble. Yeah. Right? So, it, it, you know, I'm, I'm wondering if it's the whole cancel culture thing, you know, with with powerful, you know, black people. Is that what's happening? Do, do you guys think that is what it is? I mean, I don't want to I don't want to project that on this situation. I think I mean, it's interesting to me that the American Music Awards hasn't released a statement. No, they haven't what's said anything. And I think that that's do, very do, interesting because maybe they don't want do to be involved in the drama. Anything? No, I haven't read anything. I've been scouring the internet, Instagram, because I, I want to know from I them. Googled, you know, there's I, two I, sides to every story. Yeah. I want to know what was their purpose. Was it personal? Was it? I mean, why? Because it doesn't make sense that you would want to stop art. Right. This is this is something that was a surprise to Chris. Like he didn't see this coming. He was blindsided by this right yeah and he immediately re uh, released a statement it seemed just from his instagram page about what happened so i'm with you it's a little strange i mean what do you guys think do you think that they they should let us know what was going on what happened what was the chain of events um do you think that they'll release a statement i i, I don't know what they're gonna do but i mean you, you know you're, you're talking about a, a guy who you know since he was a little kid loved michael jackson again i i have to say this again 40th year anniversary, babe. Yeah. For incredible the, the thriller album. So we're not just talking about thriller. We're talking about Billie Jean. We're talking about PYT. We're talking about all the songs. Mm -hmm. The way you, you know, the way you, the make, way me you make me feel. <laughs> my favorite song, right? <laughs> One of my it, favorite it, videos. It's, it's like, and, and my favorite video <laughs> in the entire world, right? Besides, everybody knows this, you know, about me, uh, you know. Um, it, you know, the way you make me feel and then all night long, Lionel Richie, right? Oh, yeah. So it, it's like... It's one of the first songs we danced to as a couple. To, to <laughs> me, it, it, it didn't make sense, you know, what is going on. And I just feel like we, we need to have the representatives um, of the American Music Awards give us a statement yeah, we on need some why you would cancel such an amazing artist and then give them a an award the same night. He was <sighs> awarded an American Music Award the same night. That's what's so strange about it. It's like what 
was it like a band-aid like okay you can't perform but we're gonna we're still gonna give you this award so you know you know how great you are we want you to come we want you to be a part of it like what were they expecting what were they expecting <laughs> like exactly. did they really expect him i'm i'm eating you guys i'm i'm hungry i'm eating but did they expect him to be sitting in the seat i mean okay from from you being a performer choreographer would you have you ever heard of anything like that where an artist was canceled from performing but would still attend like would that happen no <laughs> i mean look and and i got to say this shout out Queen, Kelly Rowland. Thank you so much. Oh, Kelly. Love Kelly. We're going we're gonna to clap it up for you, Kelly. <laughs> because you accepted that award on his behalf with so much grace and, and, and so beautifully done. We thank you because the world got to see how you handle something like that. That's what I'm talking about. We've seen Kelly Rowland again. You know, in the news the last couple of weeks on how she handles people saying, you know, what is it like to, you know, have been in, you know, in Beyonce's life? It's like Kelly Rowland has her own life. She has her own shine completely. Right? And I've heard just in interviews with her that she was a part of creating a lot of the music, um, a lot of the, the lyrics to the songs that they sang. So she was a huge part. And I think that each one of them had their own shine. And it's it's really cool to see. It was synergistic is what it was, right? <laughs> Talk about synergy. The kombucha. It, it was synergistic. Make sure, I, make sure you guys get kombucha that doesn't have apple cider vinegar in it because uh, that stuff is not good for you. But it's good to see people sticking up for other people and really standing standing together, especially as black people. Look, we're talking Chris Brown here right now. We're live in the studio in the groove a podcast chime in we're going to answer questions all natural queen is on her page if you follow her we're both in studio live for the first time we've gone live on the podcast which is another thing you. that people wanted to see is us live so yeah. you know what we we hear you guys and you know our first show live big up to all of my jamaicans out there my <laughs> jamaican posse bless up bless up <laughs> we see you we hear you we love you um, we just, we just, we're just trying to get answers right here, right now. I think somebody needs to be held accountable for, um, positive entertainment and, and more so than that. I think what they took away is inspiration by yeah. not letting him perform. Yeah. Think about all the young people. Think about all the adults that would have been inspired. I, myself growing up used to watch the American music awards MTV Music Awards. Yeah. Right? I used to watch television shows like American Bands. And you look forward to those, those shows. Train. Yeah. Well, they inspired me. I couldn't become who I became unless I saw Michael Jackson performing. Unless yeah. I saw those in May Prince yeah. performing. Unless I saw those performers, how could I become? You can't be what you can't see. Mm. I'm going to say that again. You can't be what you can't see. It's important for us to see the inspiration yeah. unfold in front of our eyes. It's so important. Right. And not only positive black images, but just positive images, you know, because I know just from talking to you and knowing you that you were inspired by more than just, you know, black artists. You were inspired by Gene Kelly and Fred Astaire and just so many different genres and types of music. And I think that I think that 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 speaks to to what people need to see is not just black images, but positive images altogether. Just the art form, the freedom of art and yes. the beauty in it. Entertainment. Entertainment. Color bounds, right? There, there is no color when it comes that's to true. entertainment. And that's the great thing about it. You know, Chris wasn't performing for just black people. He wasn't going to perform no. for just Latin people. He wasn't going to perform just for, you know, the, 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 the black diaspora. He was performing for everybody. His fans reach across the world. The same way Michael Jackson's fans did, though. It was no and do. color boundaries. Just love. Just love. Can we talk about love, you guys? Can we talk about love? Again, you can't be what you can't see. And I feel like a disservice was done to the world by not letting us see this performance. But once again, I believe we go through it to grow through it 
to ultimately glow, glow through, through it. it. That's right. That's right. So, Chris, I say to you, develop your own show. Make it a special. Make it a special for the world and perform it. Everything that you were going to do on the American Music Awards, do it on your special. Yeah, we want to see you. We want to support you. Just because we're live right now on Instagram, talk back to us. Ask us whatever questions that you want, and we're going to answer them live on the show because we're in the in the Groove studio right now live. We're live. We're live. We're in the studio. We're, we're live. All Natural Queen is right What's here up, live. Yo? Right? <laughs> so we want to hear back from you. We want to answer whatever questions you have. We want to make this as long and strong and as powerful. Talk back to us. We're going to be answering questions today. Um, so while we wait for some questions to come in, I know it's been it's been a lot of a lot going on in the world, and I know that I see it, you guys see it. Um, there's been just just a number of of insanity coming to the close of 2022. Um, one thing in particular that that caught both of our attention is um, the Shankella Robinson story. Um, and I, I haven't seen any video footage. I know a lot of people aren't posting it because they don't want to. Um, we don't want to remember that those, image. Release those images, which I th I think personally is a is a really positive. Um, it's like the movie Tilt, right? Oh yeah. Like she didn't want violence in the film. She yeah. didn't want to show that because we've seen enough of that already. Yeah, and we know the story. Yeah. We know what happened. Yeah. Um, but. I mean, I want to have a, a dialogue about it. I want to know what you guys think. Rest um, in peace. You know, this this beautiful young woman um, was was murdered by her so called friends while on vacation in Mexico. And I know I saw a story um, that her mom was talking about how she, you know, heard that her daughter was going to dinner with her friends, so called friends. Yeah. That was the last that she had heard from her. But just different friends kept calling her that night, you know, saying that she had food poisoning, that she was sick, that she had alcohol poisoning, that she had to go to the doctor. They were trying to get someone there. And she said that she knew in her heart that something had happened because she was just getting different stories from from each of these these so-called friends. But, babe, you know what I'm confused about? I'm confused about how is it that they have footage and these people haven't been arrested yeah, one of the girls um, that was involved recorded the whole thing. Right. And she released the first tape because uh, she s said that she thought it would kind of exonerate her um, from any wrongdoing. But there is more tapes but isn't um, there, isn't where they there... show her beating this woman. Oh, really? And isn't there yeah. isn't there a law that says if you're filming it and watching it and not stopping it, you're you basically a party a to part it. it uh, right? What is it called? An accessory. Yeah. So, An accessory. It, so, and it's... In an FBI investigation yeah. now, I'm understanding. Yeah, and, 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 and what I read was one of the girls who was involved body slammed her. And at that time, because what I read was the coroner read it and, and, and discovered that. Yeah, right? she that, had a broken spine. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, first of all, I mean, there's money conversations involved in this, you know, bringing money back and forth across international lines. There's a part of that. There's a part of, you know, this guy being a friend. Like, first of all, let's remove the term friend. Yeah, they are just people that she was there with. Like, let's stop using this term when it comes to those people. I mean, do, do any of you really want to use that term when it comes to friendship? Friends? I mean, these people killed her. Friend? Anybody that puts you in a harmful position is not your friend. Let's stop using that term for them. They're not friends. Very true. Um, not only that, but to, you know, and there was, I mean, I'm not saying that there's any valid, you know, reason why they did this, but basically it just seems like it all boils down to jealousy. Um, and four or five people ganged up on this young woman. And, and if you think that you're out with friends, I don't think that you expect to be to be jumped like that. And, you know, um, she was not initially uh, dead when they left her in the hotel. Um, she, she died from her injuries. And so even more so they left her to suffer. It's. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. 
Yeah. Um, but prayers to her, her family, her mom. Um, they had a beautiful ceremony for her, a beautiful home going. Um, but I want to know your thoughts. What is this something? I mean, is this what so-called friends do? Is this what people that you know do? Do you have to watch your friends because you're concerned that they might, you know, not have the best intentions? What What is a friend to you? Because to me, a friend is someone that has your back, someone that's that's not, you know, like you said, trying to see harm to you. So what do you think, babe? I I, I just think that that's a, a, a word that we have to stop using to describe those people. This woman is dead. May she rest in peace. And may justice um, be found in her particular case. You're watching the In The Groove podcast, and we are talking about Miss Robinson. We are also discussing Chris Brown. We are also talking about the American Music Awards, and we want answers. We want somebody from that organization to tell us why they dismissed when they had him booked. They said, no, you're no longer performing. After he put all of that time in, sweat equity in, yeah. rehearsal practice, intention in, and, and, and dare I say, love. For Michael Jackson in. Definitely. Um, again, I think it's a disservice to the world. I think that they took a lot of inspiration away from a lot of people. Again, you can't be what you can't see. And I think that there were people who would have been inspired um, and literally life changing. Again, I say this and I want you to see that I, I mean what I say. Life changing. Because when I watched award shows it taught me to practice it taught me to ask more of myself than anybody could ever ask of me that way i would always be prepared when the opportunity came along what most people call luck they took it away from them and they took it away from those people who would have watched and been inspired by him and by that performance and i think that deserves and needs an explanation an explanation explanation <laughs> Remix. <laughs> explanation um it's it's upsetting and you know I, I i think it deserves um a conversation um and an explanation <laughs> i like the remix better yeah <laughs> Uh, thank you guys for joining on uh, on live. You know, a lot of people have been DMing and asking when we were going to go live, how we do that. So this is the first show, first official show um, that we are both recording and going live with. So if you which guys have questions. Which won't happen often, but we wanted to do this <laughs> based upon what was going on. We, we felt it was important. Also, you can watch my tribute video to Chris Brown, Fine China, on my page. That's the I am... It's incredible if you guys haven't Darren seen this. Darren D. Henson on Instagram. Again, I am Darren D. Henson on Instagram. Also, follow the page on Instagram, In The Groove Podcast. That's at in underscore the groove podcast. And remember, right now, you can see all the episodes on YouTube. All you have to do is follow the at in the groove under, uh, in underscore the groove podcast on Instagram then click the URL on the homepage and then it'll take you straight to the YouTube page and you can watch all of the Make episodes. sure you subscribe. You can get notifications when we drop new videos, comment. We want to hear from you guys. Um, okay, I have a question. They want to know how we're doing. How are, how are you, Mr. Henson? I'm incredible. To God be the glory. I give thanks to the Most High every day that's a great question and the answer is incredible thank you so much for asking uh yep i am uh so happy so grateful to be alive it's just been uh such an exciting week an exciting day and you know i'm here doing something that i really love doing so i'm i'm really thankful that you guys uh find value in what we do because we we really love what we do I am Darren DeWitt Henson. I'm Tari Henson. And you've been, been grooved. grooved.